Alright, welcome back viewers. Today I'm going to be giving an extended tutorial of Compassionate, which is my first bucket plugin. I just released version 0.2, which includes the mob scanner, which is why I'm making this extended tutorial, because we will need to explain some things about mob scanner. If you're just joining us, don't worry, I'm going to go over the entire thing with you again. Except for the help commands, because, I mean, what's the point? Uh, first thing that you should know about Compassionate is that you always have to have a compass in your hand for it to function, period. Granted, it will run in the background, but if you don't have a compass in your hand and you're trying to use Compassionate, odds are you are doing it wrong. So I highly recommend you get a compass in your hand ASAP. Now, what you're going to do when you log in is you're going to check to see if you're in the system. If you right-click with a compass in your hand, and it gives you this message, you need to set a compass mode first. This should tell you automatically that you are not in the system, and you need to get yourself in the system. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second, but first I'm going to de-op myself so that WorldGuard does not screw up the plugin that I'm trying to show you, which is another thing I should mention. There is a plugin conflict with uh, WorldGuard, so you need to make sure you disable that teleporting compass uh, feature of WorldGuard if you want to use this, you know, without teleporting all around the place. Alright, so there, I'm no longer in that. Alright, so let's try that again. I'll tell you, you need to set a compass note first. What this means, and it says it in the message, you need to left click. So I'm going to left click my compass. It's going to say your node has been set. Now this means two things. One, it means that I just got placed into the system. I am now part of Compassionate. The second thing that it means is that I have just placed a waypoint exactly where I am standing. Now, let's go over cycling through the different types of a compass. You're going to right click. We say right click. My compass mode right now is default and it is pointing at spawn. And if you'll notice, it is pointing in that direction. I'll change modes again. Oh, change to mob scanner, which I'm going to get to in just a second. But first, let's go ahead and show what setting that node did. If I change the mode to node tracker, you'll notice the compass turns around and points back towards that node that I've just marked. If I get near you, you'll notice the compass will wobble around it because that is where the node is and that is where it is set to locate. And then again, right clicking, sets you back to spawn mode, points towards spawn. So let's jump into the meat of this tutorial and let's talk about mob scanner. Alright, so I'm going to right click it and you get mob scanner. Now the first thing you're going to do with mob scanner is you're going to left click. And what this is going to do is activate your scanner with the compass. So I'm going to left click. Scanning for mobs. No mobs discovered in nearby vicinity. Well, I guess that means it's working okay right now because I don't see a damn thing in sight, which is kind of unfortunate because that means I have to go find some. Oh, there's a chicken. Isn't that convenient? Out of fucking nowhere. Okay, let's go ahead and click. Again. Scanning for mobs. Located one mob. It'll tell you the amount that is in a 15 block radius. It's supposed to be 30. I will release a hotfix for this, but currently it is 15. Look at that again. Now tracking a chicken. It will tell you what you are tracking. Now, you'll notice that if the mob runs around, your compass node will not be pointing to where it is anymore. It's saying that the chicken's right here, when very clearly it is not right here and instead over there, because this chicken is a little speed demon and he likes to move the hell away from you. So, what I've done is added a feature so that if you are targeting a mob, if your compass is currently targeting a mob. All you have to do is left click again and it will update the mob target. So as you can see, now it guides towards the chicken. Click it again. It will update the compass again so that it's pointing towards it. Turn around, click it, updates, pointing towards the chicken. Now clearly this isn't very necessary at the moment because the chicken is in plain sight. But where this would come in handy is if you're trying to find say a cave expansion. Let's say I'm walking around and I click it and I find a zombie but there's no zombie in sight. I can use this to dig down and find a cave. It can be a new feature of finding caves. Isn't that great? There's already additional unexpected purposes for this plugin. Anyways, continuing on. Let's say I don't like chickens. I'm a chicken hater. If I have a chicken as my set target, I just want it to go away. Well, there are two ways you can do this. The first way is to kick the chicken's ass, which I'm going to do right now. See that I can kick his ass if I can hit the damn thing. Well, oh, and there's a shit ton of crap that drops from him. Now you'll notice if I try to update the compass node again, 
they will tell me the target mob is dead, because I just kicked that chicken's ass, and that's just the way it works. I am a destroyer of chickens. So it will tell me to left click again to locate a new mob. And thankfully, some random pig spawned in the middle of nowhere. Again, really, mobs just seem to be liking me today. And what we're going to want to do, you see that it says pigs, alright? So, updating track mob location. So let's go ahead and kill this pig, because I think he's the fucker that's trapping. Let's click it again. Alright, target mob is dead. So, let's left click. Now it's tracking another pig in this direction, so we're going to assume it's that one, but what we're going to do is we're going to wander off. We're going to forget that per second we just tracked that pig. We're going to wander off, and we're in the middle of nowhere, it's kind of dark. Odds are there are going to be some mobs, and that's a little bit of a scary thought. Of course, there are no mobs. Oh, there's some skeletons. Isn't that fantastic? Let's walk over there to those skeletons. And what we're gonna do is we wanna scan for a certain mob because we're looking for we're looking for you know we're looking for feathers. Let's look for some feathers from some zombies. Let's left click. Oh, but we're still tracking the pig. Now clearly you don't want to go over there and kill the pig. That's too much of a hassle. So I've added a feature where if you crouch and left click, it will clear your target of the compass. This is pretty useful if you are looking for a certain type of mob in the area and you keep picking up the wrong type. So now I'm gonna click it again. I'm now tracking a skeleton. I don't want a skeleton. I want a zombie. I clear it. Track it again. I am now tracking a zombie. A zombie that is very clearly right in my face, and he wants to kill me, which is not good, but that's okay. I'll just kick his ass. And look at that. Target mob is dead. Left click again to locate a new mob. There is another way to clear your mob target, which really is not it's intended but it's a less convenient way and that's it if I track this skeleton and walk away if I change the compass modes you'll see that I'm changing compass modes right now I go back to mob scanner it will locate a new mob instead of updating the old one if I left click um that's about it for today I mean that's Ended up being longer than I thought it would be, surprisingly, but that's okay because that means it's just a comprehensive tutorial, I guess. If you have any questions, suggestions, bug reports, etc., just post it in the thread and, you know, just be dandy. And I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Um, like I said before, this was mentioned in the other one, I'm going to go ahead and mention it now. There is no permission support for this yet, and I do intend to add permission support. Um, additionally, there is a, no, you can't set multiple nodes, like if I'm using the node tracker, so I'm going to set a node, and cycle back to node tracker, alright, so now it's pointing back at that node, I cannot set multiple nodes currently, I plan on changing this in the near time, in the near future, but until then, you're just going to have to settle with one waypoint. It also does not load on restarts, which is actually one of the more crucial things I need to fix, which will be fixed in the next release, which I hope to release in a few days. So that, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I'm sorry for letting this drag on so long. I guess I just sort of got carried away here with whatever the hell it was I was doing for the last six to seven minutes. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it now and stop talking. It sounds like a plan.